Hey, welcome to the Cyfinity training course. In this video today, I would like to show you how to work with the catching feature in Cyfinity CMS. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so now I will open the basis. I will open another example basis. Okay, so now I go ahead to using an existing paste here. Click on the right pet. Okay, and now I go ahead to create some content like images. Three images. I will click three images. Okay, and for now, I'm trying to to, to testing the catching feature on on this website. So I will select uh, uh, the image. It will have a uh, uh, I mean, I will select a big image for this image with this for testing catching. Okay, select the image here. I will pick up this one. Yes, the file size is very big. Pick up another. Okay, so I have three images on this pad. So normally, when I loading this pad over the easy internet, so I, ha I have to download the content. It's around the um, 50, 50 megabyte of, of the of the content from the internet. So I think it will take a long time for download it. Okay, just go ahead to click on public button to publish the content of this side of this pad. Okay, so now you can click on the view to see the uh, the chain on the back end bed a uh, front end bed okay cool we have three images on the bed and now let's come back to the back end and I will talk about the catching first and after that we will back to the rocket bed for testing to see the effect okay under the administration here Click on this and you click on setting. Run. You scroll down to the system. Scroll down to the system. Output click setting. Yeah. In the output click setting, you can see here we have the output cake and also the client cake uh, output cake means we are able to, uh, we allow the the content will be created on the server the client cake meaning we are allow the content created on the uh, client browser okay so why we should use the cake uh, when okay so when you uh, when you uh, when you public a site to, to to the internet and the user connect to the site and if you enable the catching feature so uh, in, in the first load it will take uh, okay so for example in the first load it will take uh, some time for loading the con all of the content for the page uh, and after that if you click the content on the current browser and in the next time when they access into the uh, into this bed, so it, it will take a uh, small time. I mean, uh, uh, it did uploading the data from the server. It will try to load the content from the page on, on on browser first. 
so it will reduce the time for loading all of the bread. Okay, so that's why we have to use the kitchen to re reduce the time for loading all of the content on the web pass website. Okay, so by default here, the Syfinity CMS is fully support for output cache in, uh, and the client cache on, on this CMS. After you install the, um, the CMS on the Windows PC, so it will automatically enable the feature for output cache and also client cache. Okay, so now I go ahead to testing something here. So firstly, I will disable the cache here for the server cache and also client cache and see what happens. Okay, save it. The configuration set has been successfully. You open the register page. I close this one. I will open it on, in another instance of the Chrome. Okay, press this one. Enter. Yeah, okay, so all of the content on this page have been loaded. Okay, and currently we are don't using any cake, no, no server cake, and also no browser cake. So, for loading the image as a content on uh, this page, we have three images here, it's very big, and uh, it will take uh, nearly two seconds, two seconds, and nearly 3.4 seconds for loading the content. Okay. Uh, because I'm loading the content on my local PC, so it will, t it will uh, uh, faster. But when you're loading the content over the internet, so I think this uh, the, the time for loading three image here, so it will be very big. Yeah, it depending on the, 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 the internet connection as well. Okay, so now I'm trying to refresh this page. Yes, you can see here three emit have to reload again. Try again. The same thing. Reload again. The reload again. I mean uh, reload here mean uh, uh, the the the, uh, it have to send the request to the server to get the file from the server instead of using uh, loading it from the local PC. Okay. And meaning here when when the user access into this uh, uh, this page and the content will be downloaded to the uh, the local. And after the user click on refresh button again, so the content have to download again from server. And we have nothing set on the local PC. Okay. So now, if I back to the Syfinity backend and I click on the enable client cache, save change. And I try to clear the current cache by pressing the Ctrl and F5 button at the same time to clear the cache. Okay, so after you enable the color cache on the on, on the user browser, so in the first time, it will take uh, a long time for loading the content. Okay, so try it in the second time by refresh the page. Yeah, you can see now in the first in the second time, the image from server. It did not. It did not load the data from server, so it will load from the memory cache. So meaning the time for loading the content on this page it will be reduced. Okay, try again. Yeah, load the content from memory cache.
Okay, okay. And now try it again by disable this feature. Shape change. Clear the cache. Okay, so it have to send request to server to get the content. Try again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so after you disable the feature, that feature, so it will always get the content from server and will take many time for loading the feedback. Okay. So, enable, enable. from server uh, from memory cache memory cache okay so i think after you finish this video you know how to do the configuration for caching feature in the sidefinity and by default, it will support for the output cache and client cache on on the server. Output cache means the, the the cache will be accepted on the server side, and also the client cache it will be accepted on the browser user. Okay, I hope that helped, and feel free to let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye.